sometimes God taps me on the shoulder and says, knock, knock, here we, here we go. And I, that's when I say, oh God, are you really sure I'm the right one? You know, as they say, God doesn't call the qualified, he qualifies the cult. I'm Vicki Woodhouse. I am uh, happily uh, living here in the Hannibal area. I have lived here since about 1969. I've been married, um, was married for 40 years. And since then, as my girlfriend said, I've had to kind of reinvent myself. But I have been able to find um, many things to do in the church. I love looking around to see what there is to do. Uh, Pillows for Soldiers came about years ago when I had heard on television that soldiers didn't have any pillows. And I thought, there's no, that just is not, we can't, that's not acceptable. So I had it as an automations committee at church and I said you know what what if we try to do something about this so we we started out with the goal of 300 pillows well it grew and it ended up with a community-wide I mean community-wide endeavor we ended up with two semis full of pillows blankets and then people start bringing toys because we had said you know the soldiers need to endear the the youth and the little ones in that area so people even brought toys and and um, beanie babies and it so happened that one of our church members had a nephew that was serving in Afghanistan and he was able to deliver the toys to the children I mean like God put everything right in place birthday blessings is basically to make sure the children in foster care receive a birthday gift I hadn't looked at the paper from Quincy for years <laughs> and all of a sudden I, I just had one on the counter I was looking at it and happened to see and there's something about birthday blessings about what they did had a phone number so I thought, hmm so I called Shannon and told her who I was and said you know maybe we can talk sometime Shannon has given me a purpose I saw a video of a little three-year-old girl um, opening up her first birthday present and the little girl took one corner at a time and I thought, dear God, that poor little thing. So if I can do anything to make sure another child gets a birthday gift, what a reward. I mean, I was blown away by the data that she keeps. She has a, a wish list for them. She puts down the color of the paper, you know, what their favorite colors are. So we try to wrap the presents so they're in their favorite color. And what better way to use money that I have been, than I have than to make sure that a child gets a birthday gift. Our family's blessed. I look around, I see our children, our, my grandkids near, opening up presents, and then I think about the children that may not have ever had a birthday gift. If people only knew what a joy it is to know that when their child gets a birthday gift that you may have had something to do with it, that, that brings me joy, and that's what I want to be able to share with other people. I can't wait and see what someone else thinks I need to do. I just have to do what I feel is best. And for me, it's looking around and I just love to be able to do something on the spur of the moment when you see a need. And just like what Shannon is doing. You know, she she doesn't live for herself, she lives for others. And to give is the best way to do it. So, the, the need is there. And Shannon's trying to meet that need. And she's doing a great job. Unfortunately, there's more children in foster care, so we need to keep giving and, and doing. And this lady, <laughs> you know, she has a big job, but she's, she's, she's up for the task. When you invest in birthday blessings, you know that it's going for the intent that the money was given and that it was, it's going with love and she's sharing the love. Because some of these children, some of them just not had the love that you and I have been, you know, have been gifted with.